Hello once again, oh. good day to all of you. Welcome back to our virtual class for today. Right, so I hope that all of you are okay. Are you okay? Great, are you ready? Now let's get started! Alright kids, welcome back again to our class for today. Have a nice day to all and would like to welcome you once again to our virtual classroom. Alright, so the topic that we talked about last time was the uses of living things part 2, specifically the uses of plants. Okay, the title of our topic for today is Plant Needs. So, this time, we will be looking about the needs of plants. Before we go on, I will be giving you our virtual classroom rules in order for us to maintain a good atmosphere as the discussion will go on. Number one, the same thing. Be a good listener. So you have to listen every time. And then, follow directions. Number three, finish the video till the end. So those are the things that you have to instill it in your mind. Okay. Here are our vocabulary for today. And if you cannot understand, you can ask your parents or you can translate it in Google. Okay, here, plant, plant, all right, number two, or the second, we have need, need, number three, or the third one is light, light, then the fourth, we have water, water, and the fifth, we have nutrients, nutrients, and number six, we have air, air, and last but not the least, we have pigment, okay? These are our vocabulary for today. Alright, so let's continue. What do plants need? So this is our question for today that need to answer. What do plants need? Okay, let's answer this one. Plants are living things. That's what I have told you last time. Uh, what do they need to stay alive? Okay, number one thing that the plant needs is what? Light. Okay, what is the importance of light to the plant? Plants can make their own food. What? Make their own food by the help of the light. They do it, a process called photosynthesis see in the process called photosynthesis the plants can make food by the use of light where does this light come from come from the sun sunlight okay directs to the uh, leaves of the plant and then the plant can process that called photosynthesis okay another thing photosynthesis takes place in the leaves always remember not in the roots not in the stem not in the fruit not in the seeds but in the leaves of plants you have to think twice of this you have to remember okay photosynthesis leaves contain chlorophyll which uses light to make food and later on we will know what is chlorophyll. Okay, the process of photosynthesis, look at this. The sunlight is there. Can you see the sunlight? The arrow goes directly to the leaves of the plants. Okay, the carbon dioxide, the water is there. The oxygen will go out and the sugar will go out from the tree, from the, the plant. Okay, the leaves contain green pigment called chlorophyll so this is the meaning of chlorophyll 
chlorophyll is a green pigment in leaves. That's why you can see that most of the plants, shall we say, 99 or shall we say 95% of the plants nowadays, their leaves are color green because of the chlorophyll, the green pigment in leaves. Okay? Right. So this is the process of the sun. The sun gives solar energy in the process of cold, in the process of photosynthesis, then the plants can make their own food. One of the substance, one of the basic need, needs of a plant is what? Solar energy, or let's say sunlight. They cannot make food without it, but some, not all, eh? not all plants, because there are some plants, they don't need solar like energy they don't need there are some okay let's proceed here's the process the photosynthesis the lights proceed directly heat the light heat directly to the leaves and then the leaves will get that one and then the photosynthesis will process because of the combination of light carbon dioxide and water i will tell you later on right so here leaves contain green pigment called chlorophyll so as you can see that this plant the color of the leaves are green because of because of the presence of the chlorophyll the green pigment in leaves chlorophyll chlorophyll the green pigment in leaves okay remember that put in your mind about the chlorophyll so as you can see here with the presence of the light, the plants can make what can make food and can stay alive. But without light, the plants cannot survive. Okay, this one is with light. See, with light, the plants are healthy and stronger. But look at this: without light, the plants will not be able to make food. So this time, the plants wilting and soon to be dead because of not uh, absorbing the light of the sun so the sunlight is very important also make it sure if you have plants in your house make it sure that that plant that you have you have to put outside in your house in order that that plant can get enough sunlight now here uh, as you can see, as what I have told you, without light plants. Right, so here, light is very important to plants. What do you mean by important? Mi kwam sam kan. Light is very important. Plants respond to light by growing towards it. Okay, the plants will grow directly where to where is the position of the sun. Now, next is water. The first one you have light next is water now what is the importance of the water in the plants number one plants take water through their roots so the plants will take water through their roots and the root hairs that grows from the roots help plants to what to take in more water so this is the thing that you have to remember also that the roots are the one who will take water from the ground okay water look at that those are the root hairs another thing plants need water for photosynthesis not only light but the water also is very um, important for the plants to make food another one water also helps keep the stem firm and upright right so the water also helps keep the stem firm and upright next without water the plants will wilt and die wilt and die okay look at this plants can get water from the rain these plants are dying what is the reason what is the reason can you answer this great 
the only reason that this plant is dying because there is no water that they absorb already plants are living things they need water also as what we need the same because they are living things okay look at this this picture shows that the plant is wilting because there is no water in it you have to put water in it too much water will kill plants too it can cause plants roots to rot okay if you put too much water so it's dangerous also for the plants the same with us if you're going to drink lots of water it's more than it's more than 12 glasses or 8 glasses a day that's not that's not good also the effect is not good right so continue now nutrients number one we have light number two water number three we have nutrients what is nutrients and where can the plants get nutrients nutrients help plants grow well the plants will not grow well without nutrients and where is this nutrients coming from plants take nutrients from the soil okay soil din from the soil and what part of the plants will get nutrients of course the roots the roots will absorb water and nutrients from the ground nutrients along with water are absorbed by the plants that's what I have told you. The roots will absorb it and the stem will carry it to what? To the other parts of the plants. Another thing. Fertilizers contain nutrients which help in plant growth. So you have to, to put also mulch or so we say fertilizers. Mulch means natural fertilizers in order that your plants will grow well and healthy you need you need to add fertilizers okay another thing the air we have the light we have the water we have nutrients and the air so here plants need air too Plants take in the air from what? From the surroundings or from the atmosphere. Plants take in air from their surroundings. Okay? Plants use carbon dioxide in the air to make food. Plants use oxygen in the air to get energy from the food. So these are the needs of plants. Okay, here are the points to remember in order for you. Okay, here are the points to remember. Number one, plants need light. Number two, plants need water. Number three, plants need nutrients. And number four, plants need air. So these are the four basic needs of plants in order for them to survive. Okay? Great. So before we end, I would like you to answer the worksheet given by the teacher. Print and answer. Then place it in the folder and bring it when the class resumes. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being with me. I hope that you learned something. See you next time. Goodbye.